Good morning and welcome to Green TV for April 12, 2012. To my right is Cody Bills and I'm Brock Shimbano. The markets were up in the overnight session. Beans once again the leader to the upside. But Cody, today is Thursday, so that brings us the latest installment of the USDA's export sales report. Yeah, this week's export report was bullish for corn, coming in at 959,000 sold for old crop and only 16,000 sold for new crop. Uh, now, those are 1,000 metric tons uh, for those of you out there. Beans at 460,000 metric tons. That was a little bit below expectations, uh, and wheat came in right about on par with expectations, coming in at 452,000 metric tons old and 90,000 new. Let's take a look at where we stand for corn. Of course, the USDA did not revise their export, uh, export forecast in their wa latest WASDE report. We are now ahead of pace 18 million bushels with the sales that we just uh, saw reported, and that's an increase of 3 million bushels as a result of that bar right there. Very strong bar, once again, above that seasonal uh, where we would expect to see sales come in. Uh, if you take a look at beans here, we're ahead of pace 11 million bushels, and that is taking into account the WASDE revisions uh, that we saw just uh, earlier this week. And, and that sales right there is just showing that we are continuing to outpace what we normally see during this time period. And I would expect that trend to continue going forward. Yeah, even in the overnight session, we saw sales go to China for about 115,000 metric tons, 55,000 metric tons for this year, 60,000 for next year, and then we saw another 189,000 metric tons go to unknown destinations, uh, pretty evenly split between this year and uh, next year. So we do continue to see strong export sales for soybeans as we move through this uh, marketing year. Yeah, and just just for folks out there that saw that said, you know, it looked like you know, in red on that very first slide that I had, it said that soybeans was, uh, it missed expectations, but you see here that it's above uh, what we typically see. Well, that's just because it missed the market expectations, but this here is a model of just, uh, just seasonality, what we typically see taking into account the last four years. Uh, so even though we missed expectations, we were still positive on this. We're still better than what we normally see. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we're back, we're going to take a look at the ethanol update from this week, and we're also going to take a look at the live markets as they trade in Chicago. Grain Hedge is more than just futures trading. Clients receive our cash grain optimizer showing spot and forward bids within 200 miles of your farm. We take into account your trucking costs to find your best selling opportunity. We provide in-depth basis mapping, historical basis and cash price charting, Every day we show you your best price and if it meets your profit goals. Contact Grain Hedge today to get started. Welcome back to Grain TV. The markets are open in Chicago here and we have corn up four and three quarters. Corn, uh, new crop corn up two. Uh, we have beans up ten and new crop beans up twelve. Uh, wheat up seven and uh, new crop wheat up seven and a quarter. Uh, a lot of this uh, strength here due to a, uh, a weaker dollar this morning which of course always helps us in terms of uh, our exports, but I just think it's a little bit more noise over there in the currency markets. Brock, why don't you take us through uh, where the dollar is trading right now and where we've seen it trade in the past couple months. Cody, let's uh, take a look at this dollar index uh, chart. This is a daily chart uh, for the June contract. As you can see here, we have sold off the last couple of days after meeting some resistance around the 80 level and the 100 day moving average, which is the blue line. Looks like the 50 day moving average, which is the red line, is giving us some support right now. And I think, uh, you know, going forward, we're going to continue to stay in this range from about 79 to 80. We have met resistance at 80 level several times in the past, and I think that's going to hold here as we uh, move through uh, the day today. Well, that sounds fair enough. I know uh, one other thing that comes out uh, uh, today, we, we, uh, we do see ethanol production numbers. Ethanol is obviously just a, a huge user of corn. What are we seeing in ethanol? I know that they've been lagging. Uh, all the whole first part of the year, are we seeing any kind of changes over there? We have had, have had some slow production uh, totals for the last uh, several months or so, but we did see a nice uptick this week. We saw a production increase by 2.6% over last week. Uh, compared to last year, though, we we're still a little bit behind, to about 22 hundredths of a percent behind where we were last year on production. And as far as stocks are concerned, we also saw those surprisingly move slightly lower as well, down about 3.5% from last week. But year on year, we're actually over last year by six and uh, about a tenth of a percent or so. Uh, so it looks like our stocks are still a little bit big, but our production is looking like it's rebounding a little bit in the last week or so. Well, that sounds fair enough. Hey, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, give us a call 877-472-4607. Remember, you can take a demo, get that FireTip trading platform on your home computer or in your office. We'd be happy to help walk you through it. We'll see you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up.